Hey guys, we're back in my kitchen today because I'm going to share everything that I currently have in my fridge and freezer as well as the five staple items that I always have stocked no matter what. Let's get into it. The first thing that I always try to keep on hand in the fridge is a dark leafy green. They're anti-inflammatory and full of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. I like to prep my greens ahead of time so I can easily make a salad or add them to a bowl of roasted veggies. If I don't prep them ahead of time, they usually end up going bad in the back of my fridge. Most of the time, I'll make a massage kale salad in one container because it gets better when it sits in the fridge for a couple days. I like to keep my romaine in a slightly damp dish towel in a bowl and Nick and I will eat it within a couple days. Organic raw hemp seeds are another staple in my fridge. I sprinkle them on just about anything for a boost of healthy omegas. They're a great plant-based way to improve dry skin and grow healthy hair and nails. I feel my best when I get a pretty good amount of healthy fats in my diet. Most nut butters have B vitamins, magnesium, selenium, protein fiber, healthy fats, and tons more benefits. Sometimes I buy bulk nuts and make my own nut butter, but honestly cleaning nut butter out of my blender is not super fun, so I usually either buy it in glass or buy it from the nut butter machine at my grocery store. I store my nut butter containers upside down so I don't need to stir in the oil when I open them. This technique is a game changer. Since I work from home, prepping myself for success is important when it comes to snacks. I love having a few dips made in the fridge that I can either eat with some veggies or thin out with lemon juice or water to make an easy dressing. These two are both cashew based, meaning they're high in protein and great for an afternoon snack. I'll leave both of these recipes in the description for you guys. The last thing that I always make sure I have on hand in the fridge is lemon. Lemon has more heart healthy potassium than apples or grapes and one cup of fresh lemon juice has 187% of your daily recommended vitamin C. Drinking lemon water is also a great way to aid digestion and it can even boost your mood and your energy. So here's an overview of my fridge. I found that prepping food right after I shop instead of just throwing it in my fridge in the produce bags really helps me when I'm cooking and it helps me to ensure that I actually eat all the food that I buy instead of just letting it go to waste. I keep some produce like broccoli and romaine in tea towels and other things like spiralized veggies, beans, and sauces in closed containers. As you can see, we really like sauces. A lot of these can either be combined with lemon juice or hummus or nut butter to make other dips or hearty sauces. I try to always go for glass containers with metal lids and I always make sure that I completely clean out my containers and remove their lids before recycling to ensure, hopefully, that each material can be recycled properly. I love Bragg's liquid aminos for my massage kale salad. This is a hot sauce that Nick really likes. Coconut Secret makes great sauces that are vegan and gluten free. They also make a coconut amino sauce, but this one's much less expensive at Trader Joe's. We use it on everything. I bought this ketchup because it was on sale and it didn't have cane sugar in it. It's actually sweetened with banana. Nick picked this sauce out. He really likes it, but it's honestly way too sweet for me. And maple syrup is a sweetener that I use in all my baking or really anything for that matter. Bubby's makes the best relish and pickles of all time and olives are my favorite snack. I keep my hemp hearts in the fridge because it's been so hot recently and I have this lemon juice just in case I run out of the real thing. On this shelf I have spiralized sweet potato, homemade pesto and cashew cheese, cauliflower, kale in the back, and roasted peppers. On this shelf I have green onion, black beans, overnight oats, zucchini, parsley, carrots in water in that bowl, my DIY aloe spray in the back, lemons, and kombucha. On the bottom shelf, I typically keep larger prepped foods, larger bottles, and more condiments. As you can see, I have broccoli in this container and romaine in this one. Keeping them like this in the bowls with the tea towels keeps them nice and crispy and easy to get to for snacking. In these drawers down here, I keep some bulk baking stuff that I don't use very often and want to keep fresh. I have brown rice syrup, almond flour, I used to use these plastic labels on things but I don't anymore, and arrowroot powder. This is another spinny thing that I've had for a while and I use it to organize smaller containers that don't fit in the fridge door. I have these bulk dates in the fridge because they're really juicy and delicious and I want them to stay fresh. This is a yellow mustard that I can eat because it's made with apple cider vinegar instead of white distilled vinegar. And this is another mustard that I made because I just really like mustard. 
Bubby sauerkraut. I put this on everything. This is Nick's favorite jam. This is my coconut milk from the can that I keep in a reused peanut butter jar. Chickpea miso. I like this because it's soy and yeast free and you only need a little tiny bit of it so it lasts a long time. And now the freezer. This is honestly where most of my plastic waste comes from. I have a lot of reusable ice packs because I travel with my own food often. We have curbside compost in my city, which is amazing. So I keep my food scraps in the freezer and take my compost out every week or two. This dark chocolate bar is from Alter Eco. They have plastic free and compostable packaging, but I like storing it in the freezer in a stasher bag. These are steamed pieces of zucchini that I add to my smoothies to thicken them up without adding sugar. I can't eat most grains or really any bread for that matter, but I am able to eat this one type of bread from Follow Your Heart, so I buy it occasionally because sometimes there's just nothing better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I wish I could buy package free bread, but unfortunately it's just not in the cards for me. These are frozen bananas for smoothies or banana ice cream. And then in the back, I have this huge bag of mixed berries. As you can see, I do have some plastic items in here, but I don't beat myself up about it. I can't help it that I have allergies and sometimes buying in bulk is a less expensive option. I used to buy much more packaged food than I currently do, so for now, I consider that a win. So that was the tour of my fridge and freezer. As you guys can tell, I'm not perfect about not buying things that are wrapped in plastic, but I do try to reduce my plastic use as much as possible. So if you're watching this and you feel like you want to reduce your plastic, but you feel like you're so far away from being plastic free, don't let that get you down. Don't compare yourself to where I'm at or where anyone else is at. That's not going to get you anywhere. You can use this as inspiration if it does inspire you. And then you can just push forward to make small changes daily because that's how you're going to get to your goals. So just keep that in mind. I hope you like this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.